He flips the coin on us and says, why are we here? Interesting. Isn't that fascinating? Like, why are we here on earth? So my interpretation of why I'm here on earth is to learn, to grow, to expand, expansion, growth, awakening, ascending, going through the ascension. Hi everyone, I'm so glad to be back. We're going to be talking about are there uh, advanced alien species on Earth? If so, where are they? And also the Miami Mall incident. Did it really happen? So that's what we're going to be talking about today. And I'm super pumped and excited. I uh, just got back from vacay mode and so I'm feeling quite refreshed and had a lot of sunshine and just relaxing, swimming, having a good time. Definitely noticed that there's half the amount of people, I would say, out on vacation than two years ago. So it's definitely noticeable. So for those of you that didn't get a vacation this summer, just note that really there's a lot less people out and about on vacay mode this summer. I saw the Miami mall incident with the aliens and like the aerial views, the inside the mall views, the, the camera views from the people's phones, the people saying that the cops were pulling them over and having a look at what they caught on their phones. I think from a vantage point of f finding out what it was, but also maybe to delete them. Hmm. All right, so what I've done is I have channeled some guidance from my guardian angel pertaining to this topic. Here we go. All right, the Miami Mall incident, right? Did it really happen? When I ask my guardian angel, did this really happen? The answer is yes. <laughs> Inequivocally, yes, okay? <laughs> it, it's funny how she came across to talk about this topic because uh, when you look at it, the answer is yes. And the first thing that she talked about is a mistake occurred. So it was a mistake. It wasn't like the ETs wanted to show up in the middle of the Miami mall and scare the heck out of everybody. <laughs> okay, The ET race was not concerned uh, with even being noticed. No fear whatsoever. That's the second thing that I received. So they didn't care that they were being noticed and they had no fear about it. The humans, on the other hand, were very fearful and running and fleeing the mall. I mean, obviously the cops were concerned too. And that's why every single cop showed up at the mall. What was it? Like 30 cop cars surrounding the mall. So when we look at ET energy from my own experience of channeling ET energy over the past eight, nine years now, they're not scared. Some of them don't even have that emotional range of fear. They don't have, they don't have, the, if you can picture that, they don't uh, present in any capacity with fear. That's more of a like human thing that I experience with humans in my day to day life. She says, sometimes we have a slit in the fabric of space and time. And that redire redirects or opens at the wrong moment. So that's where the mistake happened. An accident happened or a mistake happened, if you want to call it that, where there was a slit in the uh, fabric of space and time. And other times it opens in the wrong location. So sometimes if you're doing it wrong, you're, whoops, you're in the Miami mall. <laughs> Most of the time, these experiences do not occur for mistakes or incidences are not commonplace. The slit in the fabric of space and time and the mistake that was happened or the accident that was happened. Uh, I had heard from others that there was some kind of a battle or war going on and this is where this mistake happened or she's she's quite jovial the last couple of days. I'm like, okay, so a battle, we see that as, you know, guns a blazing, multiple characters that play, shooting up, you know, that type of thing. Battles that are presented between other ET species can be very short, very quick. Accidents can happen. Mistakes can happen. 
So we, we operate from a, a, a place of uh, space and time where we are. Whereas a lot of these ETs or aliens, they move so rapidly, so quickly, so fast that by, from the naked eye, we, we most, most of the time, we don't even know what they're up to or doing. So, uh, a shoot 'em up big battle that fr from that point of view, the answer to that is no, but defending themselves accidentally doing a tear in the space and time reality of where we are. Yes, but it was very short lived and very quick. And there's no fear from these ETs whatsoever. They don't care if you're filming them. They're like, there's just, they're operating from a whole other level where there is just no fear at all. Where did these ETs go after leaving the mall? Where did they go? Well, we would have seen them just almost like evaporate or was that like a Harry Potter term here? <laughs> but basically disappear. Uh, and she says that's correct. So they just moved into another time space reality very quickly. Did they want to be seen at all? Is there any part of them that wanted? No. It was very disruptive. And uh, what she's sharing with me is people screaming, screaming at the top of their head lungs. And they are running and just absolute chaos and pandemonium. She says you could look at this mistake as being beneficial in a sense of people knowing what's really here on earth rather than uh, guessing or even not believing and now they do believe and she says the evidence is located on many individuals phones uh, and and also basically is filmed from aerial views online all right and uh, why do these species not express fear among maybe other emotions like why is it it's not in their capacity. It's, they're not capable of it. It's probably similar to greys because greys don't express fear. They don't express of any emotion other than curiosity that I've seen. So these obviously were much bigger than greys. They were way taller than greys and they're just not capable of this type of emotional response. Correct. This is correct. Did they know that if they acted up or did something here in our time-space reality, there would be consequences for that kind of behavior? Correct. They all know. Hmm. She's talking about if things get out of hand, that there is a way of reversing the time back to change it. But as it stood, they felt that with the awakening process on Earth, and the people that are newly awakening or wanting more people to awaken, they didn't feel that th this would produce harm to allow it to stand. And therefore, they chose to allow this material to be spread. The police, however, didn't want the material to be spread out, but you can't stop everybody. So how many different species are here on Earth, like living on Earth? She's talking about there's uh, shapeshifters and hybrids. And she says, uh, ultimately, when you look at each of our energies, we have been elsewhere what long before coming to Earth. So our souls, if we look at, if we want to uh, interpret them, our souls, our energy, have ET origins off Earth long before becoming human. So it's all, she does this, immersed together, okay, to think that we are only human and that we've only been human is far too limiting of a thought. So how many are like on Earth all the time? She's just got this kind of grin. <laughs> so I'm thinking a lot, many. She says, we'll leave it at that many, many. So here's the next question. Why are they here? She flips the coin on us and says, why are we here? Interesting. Isn't that fascinating? Like, why are we here on Earth? 
So my interpretation of why I'm here on earth is to learn, to grow, to expand, expansion, growth, awakening, ascending, going through the ascension. Why these ET energies are here on earth, they're here to learn amongst us, then correct, observe, watch, participate, be a part of something different than what they're usually or traditionally a part of. Uh, she says that they're all being monitored and watched carefully. Each of them is, they keep an eye out and, and watch them. That's one thing that's coming through. They're not just running around and nobody knows about it. They want to learn from us and with us. And some of them are able to do things that they previously were not able to do, such as have a wider or more broad emotional range of emotions, eating foods the way that we do, in the capacity in which we do. So she's showing me like greys, for example. Greys, I don't see them eating food like we do, okay? They don't even eat food through their mouths. And I've seen some ET energies, they just absorb energy. Greys I've seen, now depending I suppose on the stage at which I'm observing, I'm sure more of the advanced greys are just absorbing energy for energy. But I see a lot of greys just absorbing like a liquid type substance through a stomach region, not even through their mouth. It's like you see some of those people on earth and they love to do sunbathing or they sit and absorb the energy from the sun and they haven't eaten in years. I, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> I mean, the whole point of me being here is to enjoy this journey. But again, some of these people are very drawn to doing that. So it's pretty fascinating. And they have been observing these people and seeing how have they lived this long with no food, just absorbing the energy when absorbing it from the sun. Do some of these ET energies, are they coming and going? And I'm assuming through portals, wormholes, spaceships? Correct, on all fronts. That's correct. She's telling me that some of them are permanently located within our solar system on other planets. And she just points back to the video that I just did and I put up on my YouTube channel about the energies residing on the planet Ceres. So that's uh, just in our solar system. And th that energy had a word with us about what it wanted us to hear. So they'll pop over. It's kind of like when you pop over to your friend's house or your neighbor's home. And she's saying <laughs> that they're allowed to do that. They just pop over to our planet and observe what we're up to. She says they don't need to be here to know what we're up to. So they can tap into the energy and that will um, give them the information that they so wish, so desire. And they don't they don't have to be here on Earth to know what's going on here. And many of the ET energies are fully aware of what's going on on Earth, even if they are far, far away, she says. The ones that are allowed to stay permanently at this time must be able to handle or take the large... And this, this isn't just about ETs, okay, or aliens. This is us too, by the way. We have to be able to withstand the large amounts of energy that are washing over the planet. Also energy coming up from within the planet and impacting and affecting us. And this will continue to increase the planet. And all of the residents here are being bombarded by light source frequency um, and that can come from the sun with CME, solar flares, all sorts, okay? And so if there's any heaviness with any of these ETs in any capacity that are staying here permanently, that's not going to fly. She says that we may have days where we feel irritated or anxious or we have upheaval within us, and that's just any heavy energy coming up to the surface to get transmuted into the light. So if we have thoughts about things we haven't thought of in a long time, or we're 
focusing on heavy, heavy things that we haven't thought of for a while. It's just coming up to get transmuted into the light. And she says that in time, many ETs may choose to leave just as we have seen many humans choose to leave Earth in ma mass exodus. Now, this is interesting what she wants to talk about here, which I was like, what? Okay, so the next thing she wants to talk about are skinwalkers. What are skinwalkers, okay, versus aliens? So that's interesting. She's just showing skinwalkers just inhabit the planet and they bop around and sometimes they scare people, but for the most part, they're harmless. And if any one of us have any issues with them, simply call upon your team. If the pestering continues, what you need to understand is that there's something in you that you are exhibiting that is a vibrational match to their pestering. And it's kind of a catch-22 because you don't enjoy being in the hole, but at the same time you dug it for yourself. Okay, so how do you get out of a hole that you've actually dug yourself with your own shovel? And your team will guide you along the way. And then the second reason why you might continue getting pestered is because it's showcasing to you that there are things outside of your 3D reality and it's helping to awaken you and friends and family members if you so choose to tell them what's going on. And so that might be purposeful only for a time and then we'll stop. It's similar or like the paranormal programs that we watch on TV. They're purposeful and people are drawn to watching them for a time, but they're only meant to be for a time. She's joking and saying, like the Marvel movies, they're only meant to be for a time. And now they're shifting gears and people aren't as interested in them anymore. And you know what's interesting that I said to her? When I had all my teeth taken out, I lost my lips. My lips, they went. Kiss them goodbye. They're, they're going to disappear to thin, thin uh, pieces of whatever. So you have to decide what you're going to do. So obviously it's either lip filler or I guess fat transfer. So every time I go in to get a little bit of lip filler because I have no lips anymore, they always say, oh, is she going to get any Botox? And I'm like, no. And then when I say it to my angel, I say, what do you think about me getting Botox? And she says, she doesn't feel it's necessary or needed. And then she lets me know that in about 10 years time that this artificial, you know, Botox, everything has to be perfect, perfect, per 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 perfect. It's going to shift into a direction where being more natural and just being your true authentic self is going to be more of the important thing in the future. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So it's going to be more your authentic self in 10 years. She's also saying that with uh, the ups and downs and upheavals financially for people over the next five years, it's, it's not going to be as easy financially to get every, all the work you want done on your face on a regular basis. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, skinwalkers versus aliens. What are skinwalkers? <sighs> okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. So they used to be humans that traversed Earth in human form and have lost their way. She's using the word convoluted, become a bit, you know, maybe unaware of what's going on. Maybe they're a bit, she's saying the word a bit twisted. They're not, most of them are not meaning to be harmful but they do run around. They're a bit lost, okay? And their team of angels are attempting to help them. It would be similar like my experience where I've seen lost souls in homes where I used to clean a long time ago when I had a cleaning company. And the souls are just hunkered down the corner. They don't know where they are. 
They don't know what's going on. They're completely lost. And they got my attention by, you know, exhibiting a long disembodied voice next to my head. And then I called in Jesus for help because I was like, I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> why, why do let them deal with it? So that's my motto in life. I got enough here on planet earth. Let them deal with it. And so he helped cross over this soul. So it's kind of like that, except that this looks more of physical form with the skinwalkers. Whereas aliens are all types of different physical bodies in which energy inhabits, the likes of which we call a soul. And some of you, each of you, have had these uh, experiences in these vessels as well, participated, chose to be there, just like you have chosen to be here on Earth. Okay, you guys, have an awesome weekend. I've got August all set up if you guys want to check out events. I also have... 20% off all readings until the end of the month. And I believe they're completely booked until the 17th. So if that's something of interest to you, that might be something to schedule. Also, Transcendental Meditation, also known as TM, will be teaching that class on August 11th for only $30. Far beats out the $3,000 plus uh, course. If you want to go take TM, it's thousands of dollars. If you want to check it out and try it out for $30, I'm offering that on August 11th. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye.